you see stage right many much previously consumed heavy seas partnerships collab beers and a fresh one to the left of us so you know what time it is it's time for DJ to go loco that's right guys we're going local with yet another beer from heavy seas and this time their collaborative partner clipper city and this was brewed where baltimore maryland us of a yay yay and what beer do we have from them today we have their partnerships number six IPL, as the name suggests, is IPL, it's a limited serving. It clocks in at 7.8% ABV and 48 IBUs. Now, this beer, since you're hearing IPL, you're saying hoppy and delicious, hopefully. That's right, that's what I'm saying to myself anyway. So it's going to be all about the hops. In this beer for hops, they're using Cascade, Centennial, Mosaic, Simcoe, and Mandarina Bavaria, a very popular hop these days. Anywho, for malts in this, they're using Pilsen, Vienna, and Special Aromatic. Don't really know what's special about it, but uh, maybe it tastes especially good. Who knows? But what I am concerned about is that this beer tastes awesome. So you know what? It's time to pop the top on this bad boy. Get it in our lovely Cigar City IPL glass that my good buddy Johnny the Stunt Trigger hooked me up with. Shout out to you, my brother. Got the shirt on tonight, too, and the Heavy Seas hat. We are craft beer geek accessorizing. Hell yes. Let's crack into this bad boy. Boom. Gigantic hiss off the top and tons of cannon smoke. Woo, the hops are blasting off the top of this bad boy. And I guess it would be cannon smoke since it's a pirate-themed beer and it's extra arganary. That's what they say at Heavy Seas. Anywho, yes, I digress. You're not surprised. Mm-mm-mm. Look at this. Nice, gorgeous, golden-looking lager. Wow. That is definitely gold-colored for sure. I'm going to go a little easier on the pour here, even though we have a bomber. We want to leave a little space for the nose. And we can always pour more, can't we? That's right. That's a good thing about this 22-ounce format, especially in a beer like this, 7.8%er. You can handle it, right? Right? Anyways, I can. So, let's see what's up with the appearance. It is crystal clear, golden, like, or more to the orange side of the golden color. I guess maybe like rose gold color. Tons of streaming bubbles coming off the bottom of this non-nucleated glass. And we have a solid two and a quarter fingers, super tightly packed, khaki colored kind of off-white bubbles but take a look at that guys that is gorgeous in that glass it looks delicious and inviting but you know what since it's that hoppy variety kind of beer it's got to smell awesome too so let's see what's up with the aroma man mm, peach wow big hit of peach citrus some watermelony melony kind of notes tons of orange grapefruit as the head recedes, some dankness is starting to kick up now. Grassy herbaceous notes, some pine. Nice tropical fruit basket in there. Maybe a little bit of pineapple as well. But the dominant, uh, like the dominant aromas are that of the melon, the dankness, and the citrus. Then the other ones are, are you know, fall off on that. There's you really can't smell much like malt sweetness or anything in this, though it is there. Really bright, aromatic hops. A little bit of floral notes in there, maybe some like honeysuckle kind of smells, like it may maybe some like bready malt, very faint in the background. Smells delicious. I'm ready to dive in, guys. Cheers! Mmm, man. That is a crusher. Damn. Mmm. Right up in front. You get that I got first the melony sort of taste that I got in the aroma. I guess that's coming from the Simcoe. That'll throw like a watermelon taste sometimes if it's straight up a Simcoe beer. At least that's what I get sometimes. Anywho, after that, tons and tons of tropical fruits and citrus are rolling in. Then that mild dankness is in there. Really dry, quite dry, clean, crisp finish in the back end. The taste is there and then it's gone. After that, rolls in the center like a little bit of like a peach note. I got some of that, I guess, more from the front end, but more like a like a tart peach note. And then after that, there's some pine, and the dankness is building as I'm talking here to you and settled out on my palate. Second drink, more pine-type flavors, and herbaceous notes are coming in. A little bit of that honey sweetness that I was getting in the nose. But this beer is balanced more towards, like, the... Um, fruity bitter flavor i guess kind of thing like if you've eaten a un like an unripe um unfully ripe peach like a like a fresh peach from a tree not canned or anything like that and you get that little bit of tartness and bitterness to that that's what how this beer is kind of playing off to me but man real tasty the piney notes are building as i'm talking but there's no building bitterness the back end's 
quite clean and quite dry but you know what sometimes these big hoppy lagers will finish dry like that but that doesn't it's not necessarily a bad thing i got that a lot from the uh beers from jack's abbey which i think are probably the the pinnacle of hoppy lagers out there something most times at least the ones that i've had so far anyway the one they're the ones i've liked the best but this is pretty damn good man drink super easy let me take another taste because we're gonna pass a grade on this mm, man crisp clean and hoppy that's the best descriptor of this beer lots of hop flavor lots of hop character crushable at 7.8 percent you don't taste any of the alcohol it's got a nice medium mouth feel i was wondering if it's going to be thin but it's actually got a quite coating and mm, fairly viscous not i'm not like thick like motor oil or anything like that but for a ipl like this it has a quite present body which is very good because a lot of them come off a little thin but you expect that sometimes but wow Super tasty, and Heavy Seed has been making lagers a long time. You know, one of their first beers that was really big back when they were only when they were called Clipper City. That's the actual name of the company, Clipper City. But when they went by traded under that name, they had a beer called Balto Marzhan, which is a Marzen back in the day. Anywho, I'm digressing, so we got to grade this. At time recording, Beer Advocate has no grade, and Untapped has no grade. Believe it or not, Untapped always has a grade, but this beer is just out. It was released a day ago. So at time of recording. So I'm going to grade it. Let me take another taste here. Hmm. If you like your lagers and you like hoppy lagers, this is an A beer. I'm going to go with the A on this. I think it's like a, like a 94 kind of grade. I think it's just into that A range. Um, some people may give this a little bit lower grade because they're expecting a bigger hop attack. But I think for what it is, it has well-developed hop character and flavor. And it's super duper crushable with crazy hidden alcohol. Yum. So, have you had partnerships number six? IPL, collaboration between Heavy Seas and Clipper City? Not Clipper City, Cigar City. Well, Heavy Seas and Clipper City are the same thing. But then you got Cigar City. Oh, I'm digressing again. That's happening a lot tonight. Anywho, so uh, if you've had it, let me know what you know because I like the quid pro quo and the back and forth. I also like it when you think lowly drink locally and support the craft beer movement. Pfft, I'm getting it done. I, I, I'm dressed. I'm dressed for success. Anywho, also if you could do me a big favor and rate, comment, subscribe, especially if this is your first time with us, and consider maybe I don't know thinking about smashing that like button because that along with only one bomber that's all i'm gonna need oh partnerships number six ipl between heavy seas and cigar city that's gonna put my big ass happy face on so it's the next dj's fruit tube i got a hell of a bunch of partnerships drinking love for you and you know what's coming that's right a big ass